Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video. So welcome back to the Climb to Master, the series that I play on my main account and attempt to Climb to Master. So we return to the series uh, Diamond 4 43 LP. So between the last episode, which was Twitch, and now, I played one game and I won one game, which is kind of cool. Uh, I am banning, so I'm just going to get rid of Syndra. Um, but yeah, we're now top lane, and today's episode is actually patch 7.1. Um, so the last two games you would have seen even though they were technically after like the day of release of patch 7.1 obviously i do record in my videos in advance uh that's why occasionally i'll get caught out when a new patch comes out um but yeah we should be fine uh people probably will ask me straight away what do i think of the poppy nerfs because i've been playing her quite a bit uh they're not really nerfs like they're nerfs obviously but they won't affect a poppy uh the shield that is was a five second duration is now a three second duration for your passive shield it's not a big deal because you generally use the shield as soon as you pick it up um and then uh the damage reduction on your ultimate again not a big deal you don't pick poppy to do damage you pick poppy because of a utility and stuns knock up and all that stuff so yeah it, she really hasn't been affected so yeah um so i will still continue to play her um but as always looking to pick up new champions i know people really want to see darius so i might do darius today uh just for a bit of funsies um but yeah should be good uh just to mention as well uh people always because i again i'm I, I watch the competitive scene quite a lot, but I'll be honest, I haven't kept up to with all the transfers that have been happening. And so far in this Climb to Master series, we've actually played with around three LCS players, and I was completely unaware it was them. So if you ever spot an LCS player in one of these games, put it in the comment section. People have been doing it anyway, but do it like quick so other people can find out. Uh, but we played with um, a, a G2 player. We played with a jungler of a G2. Uh, we played... Uh, the Lux episode a few episodes ago that went bad for me. Uh, we played with um, the mid laner of Paris uh, Saint Germain. He's a Korean player. He was the, he was the rise against me apparently. So you know, we do play against like these players, which is kind of cool. Um, and I get wrecked by them. <laughs> or if they're on my team, we win. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but again, I just want to remind you guys, I'm a normal mortal like you guys. I'm just a normal player. I've got, I've got competitive experience, but I I'm not at that level. Nowhere near. Um, so yeah, right. Should I play Darius is the question. Poppy's really good versus Hecarim, and she's very good versus Draven, but I don't want to play another Poppy game. You know, again, I, I myself as a as a player of League of Legends, I can't play so much of a champion because it it's too much. Um, so yeah, I, I'd love to have a counter pick, but uh, I don't think I'm going to get one generally. So we're just going to go Darius. People have wanted to see Darius in quite some time. And he's really strong right now. I know, like, last season in Unranked Diamond, I kept going, oh, Darius has his weaknesses. He does have his weaknesses. He very much has his weaknesses. The problem is, uh, well, the reason why he's so good right now is because the me uh, meta is perfectly suiting him. And what I mean by that is there isn't many... Or m most of the champions that are being played right now are high damage, low mobility champions. Like, D Darius can always get on them. So that's kind of why Darius has suddenly become pretty good. Ooh, Fiora. What's the win rate? Let's have a look. All right, the win rate between uh, Darius and Fiora. Fiora has the advantage, and she has a win rate of 47.6. Uh, Darius, sorry, has a win rate of 47.6. So it's in her percentage by a few percent. So it's not a big deal, but yeah, it is in her percentage favor. Uh, and again, I will be honest, I do learn from you guys occasionally. I look in the comment section, you know, as always. And when I was against a Fiora a few episodes ago, you guys are like, Huzz, this is this is how you deal with her passive when she if you it gets the front passive when you just walk away and then it will go away or you just hug a wall when she has ultimate up and she can never get the full ultimate on you and I'll be honest they're obvious things but I sometimes completely go oblivious when I'm doing commentaries because I can't think as much as I normally would so no it's very useful when people tell me this stuff because I don't know sometimes I just I just don't think about it. Um, do I want to go for the 9 cool? Do I want to be really greedy? Yeah, we're going to be really greedy. We're going to go for like the full 10% cooldown reduction from runes. Uh, because they don't have, um, or I won't be against an, a magic user unless Twisted Fate ganks me. Uh, also surprisingly, even though Darius isn't one of my favorite champions, I own nearly every skin for him apart from Wode. We're going to use Dunk Master because obviously it's the legendary. And of course we're going to use the legendary for the first game. And also some people may question, why am I going Grass of the Undying over Colossus? Uh, Colossus is still perfectly fine, but I'm against a duelist and I need to make sure I can actually duel her. And I think Grass helps me the most. Uh, so without much further ado, let's get into the game or loading screen where we break down today's game. 
Okay, welcome to the loading screen. This is where I use the website lolskill.net. And as you can see, the enemy team have a 55.2% chance to win. So it is pretty heavily in their favor. Uh, but let's break it down. We have a Diamond 5 Lee, a Diamond 4 Ali, a Unranked Twitch, a Diamond 3 uh, Lux, and a Diamond 4 Darius as myself. Uh, Diamond 3 on the enemy team. Diamond 3 uh, Twist Fate. Diamond 3 Draven looks to be like a one trick or main. A Diamond 4 Fiora has played quite a bit, but has a negative KD. A Diamond 2 uh, Scion and a Diamond 3 Hecarim. So I'd say most of that win percentage in the favor of the enemy team is because of our Twitch. I guess he's either been bugged or I have no idea because this is like a mid-diamond MMR game. So he wouldn't be placed in this in placements, I wouldn't think, unless he was like challenger last season. And I can say I'm looking at the actual loading screen right now. He hasn't loaded in. So I don't know what border he has. As, as as soon as I find out what border he has, I know if he was like Challenger or something last season, which would make sense. Uh, but right now, he's got no games on Twitch and has only won one ranked game this season. Uh, so without much further ado, let's get into the game where we are playing Dunking Darius. Okay, welcome to the game. So today we are playing Dunking D, uh, the man himself. We are against the Fiora. I've decided to go for the Longsword early because I'm a bit of early aggression will either go very good or very bad. We are going for an invade. Uh, and I will say it's patch 7.1 and for some reason my game was set to like windowed mode, uh, which is a little bit weird. Oh, there's wood. We keep going. Mm. Um, it was set to windowed mode and the sound has actually gone down quite a lot. Um, I don't like the sound being too high, but still. Mm, nice damage. They should probably try get a ward, yeah. Get a ward on it and then you'll be alright. Um, so Darius... I like the champion, and he can do very, very good things. The problem with him is that there are also are moments that he can't do good things. Uh, if he just gets CC'd, kited, that can happen too. Uh, although, uh, also by the way, in the in the loading screen, I was like, how is this Twitch in this game being unranked and that? Uh, I don't know. He was Diamond last season. He wasn't Challenger or anything, so his MMR isn't inflated. Oh, you're doing blue? Okay. And maybe he's invading? Um, do I want to go W level 1? Probably. Q will help me, but I think W will help me a little bit more. Yeah. I'll use it for him. Just help him out. And one more turn. See you later, buddy. Okay, so our team comp versus their team comp. So, they do have a lot of damage. But so do we. They did also roll swap a little bit. Um... Hmm... So it is actually facing the way I want it to right now, away from her. But yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then the idea is to run away from her out of her vision, right? Is that what people... And then you go back. Ah, okay. See, I do learn from the comments. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, and then it's on the, that side again. Feels bad, man. I'm going to have to let her just push it in. Lee Sin took the both uh, red and stuff, which is good. Okay, finally. So it's on that side. She did just walk into that, which is good for me. The Fiora, like, she might have advantage, like, in the actual 1v1 dueling and stuff, but she still doesn't want to just walk into a Darius. You know, I'm still a Duncan D. So, we'll see. Okay, I think Hecarim's like, oh, I'm going to go for his blue. Ooh, you, making her use Q in that way. What the hell? We knew Hecarim was coming. That's not good. Yeah, that's not great from Lux. We we, we did see Hecarim was like on his way, so... Alright. Um, If I can make sure I can use my E without her like CCing it or parrying it, whatever it's called, then that's good. Because that would be annoying if she could. That's warded. Uh, people may... Oh, well, I was about to go into, like, when um, I do random pings. A lot of the time in high rating, if I just randomly ping a bush, people would generally know, okay, that's warded. Huh. They use everything to kill Twitch. So I've got a bit of an advantage in this top lane so far. But that could all change, you never know. Um, but yeah, whenever I ping a bush in that, generally I would be like, okay, they know that there's a ward in there. So tempted to TP for that, because I know he doesn't have summoners, but I don't want to just, like, ruin my lane. 
Okay, I'm gonna go back and do something a bit weird. I'm actually gonna buy a corrupting potion. I know it's like you're buying corrupting potion now. Yeah. I just like having it because the dots, the dots with Dar uh, Darius, so often uh, than not, you can randomly get a kill from a dot as Darius because he does do dot damage with uh, hemorrhage. Yeah, hemorrhage is his dot when he gets bleeds on people. And then having a dot and then corrupting, that's kind of cool. Um, it's surprising how much damage you could possibly do, to be honest. But yeah, hopefully bot lane will be okay. Twitch is obviously subject to dying versus that lane. It's a heavy damage lane. But the thing is, he still has flash. So maybe he just made a mistake by not flashing the Alistair combo. Could be what happened. Oh god. There's a random Scion there. What the hell is going on this game? So weird. They should be killing these people, though. TP. May as well. Even if I don't get anything for this, it's actually not that bad. Should have the vision of him. Okay, I'm just going to keep going. Damn it, if I got that kill, that would have been really good for me. Oh well, that's good. Um, I, it means I will lose uh, advantage in top lane, which is not great for me, obviously. But I wanted to make sure my team got an advantage. I'm, Again, it's something that I personally may need to work on is be more greedy as a player. Because if I was purely greedy, then I would not have teleported. Because it's like, no, I can't leave that lane because now Fiora has an advantage over me. She'll be level 6 before me and stuff. So advantage in terms of my lane i've just lost all the advantage that i may have had uh but just to give my team that you know me teleporting here made sure hecarim just didn't run that way because that's when i tp'd i was like oh, he's gonna run that way so that's fine with me but maybe in terms of being getting to high rating sometimes you do have to be a bit more selfish than i bit than i play myself Eh, not that bad. I was expecting it to take damage from her because she was level 6 and she'll feel confident right now. Ooh, nice. If they keep killing the Hecarim, that's really good. Because punishing a Hecarim in the early game is not what he wants. Ooh, right against the wall. Alright. So I think I have got better, I guess, in a little bit in the 1v1 matchup with Fiora. Like, obviously, not much has happened this game, so we can't judge it completely. But, uh... She should be dead. Yeah, good. So I killed the one 1v1. Perfecto! I definitely feel more confident in the Fiori matchup. And that, that's, by the way, that's you guys. This is an educational League of Legends channel, but sometimes you guys educate me and I thank you for that. Because as always, every single player in League is still learning. And if you're not learning anymore, you're doing something wrong. Because every single player is learning, even Faker. And I've mentioned before, if Season 3 Faker, when Faker, the best player in the world, got famous. If back then, if Season 3 Faker played Season 7 Faker... See if season seven Faker right now would wipe the floor with the guy from season uh, seasons ago. Wouldn't even be a competition. Okay, just keep running to your Alistair. Draven's killing himself for some reason. And combo and E. Oh, he doesn't have mana. Okay, he just got the mana. But this game is going a little bit weird, mainly just because of how the enemy are playing. They got an advantage in bot lane, and then Scion is no longer in bot lane. Like, Scion's been roaming all the time, which has actually been making them die because he's forcing plays that they shouldn't be going for. That's just weird. I don't know. What you're seeing now is a, is a team throwing their lead to just do bad play. So Lee Sin hopefully will be able to get away. He's not even level 6 yet. He's actually taken a really long time to get to level 6. Just making sure they know I don't have teleport. Okay. I was like, is she TPing in? Oh, balls. I should have done that earlier. I didn't really want to go for the full fight because I didn't have ult up at the time. So she probably could have killed me. But I know to hug the wall now. I'm actually proud of myself. <laughs> I know that sounds so basic, but it's like you just worked out something like really like, oh, 
this is how you beat this champion. It's like a game of chess. It's like, I've figured out how to beat you. No, my team. Why are you dying? Lux doesn't have ult, but maybe she can go for a clean. Oh my god, please. Again, I did another teleport. It was a fine teleport. It's another one that I don't get anything for it. My team gets stuff for it, but I get nothing. If I can still be beating this Fiora, by the way, and t being teleported around the map twice to help my team, then she's doing something wrong. I took that because I didn't get a kill. Please don't take my tower. Aliou. But yeah, um, Fiora has TP. No, you don't. But it's, it's a good thing, like, it's not a negative thing what I'm doing. But it's just annoying that I'm not getting anything for all the TPs. Take a closer look. I presume she's going to go back and buy, because she'll probably have a decent amount of gold. She's been in top lane for quite some time. I, I do enjoy Darius as a champion. It's like the same aspect. People thought last season I hated Darius. I don't. People think I hate Yasuo. I don't hate Yasuo. I just think they are big weaknesses to these champions. Yasuo is a little bit different because I think his main weakness is the players that play him. Um, yeah. This Sion is really struggling now, by the way. Sion is nearly close to death. Draven's going to kill himself if he's not careful. Okay. Oh, W. <laughs> the cow. I was like, what's that guy doing? Uh, let's buy another one of these, because, you know, why not? Oh, wait. We can buy this. Cool. How's mid lane going? So mid lane's going actually quite well. Liz Lux has been having a very underrated game. That it doesn't look like she's done anything crazy, but she's ahead in CS. Actually, she's 3-1-3. Sometimes that just happens. It's like, how did that person get that strong? Also, I've been seeing this as well. I think it's so dumb when people do this. To me, this is a desperation move. It's like, I need to try and get ahead of this guy, so I'm going to buy two BF swords. It, I, mm, I, don't, mm, I don't see why. I don't see it more of an advantage than, you know, other things. I think finishing the actual full item would be way better. But that's just me. Oh my god, Huzzy Cannon. Um, oh yeah, just to mention as well, I haven't mentioned it in a while. Um, if you guys didn't know, and again, this is, I'm a cha they're, they're a channel sponsor of mine. Uh, I have, you know, I don't need to mention them at all, but I will, because I haven't mentioned them in quite some time. Um, I am sponsored by Steel Series. All the gear that I use is Steel Series. If you guys just want to check them out, there is a link down below. Um, without being unbiased, you know, hopefully you can trust my word. I've used a lot of tech and Steel Series is like really good. It just feels professional is the best way I can describe it. So yeah, check it out if you need some new gear. I do do a giveaway every single month as always. A complete setup uh, is given away. She won that trade, holy moly. She won the trade, but like the thing with Darius is like, oh, you're losing the trade, you're losing the trade, and then suddenly, wha-bam! When you get like the proc for your passive and stuff. And they've lost that. But yeah, I don't know. This Scion's playstyle is so weird. He's he's never... He's 1 and 4 now, and he's never with his Darius. Darius? I'm Darius. He's never with his Draven. Maybe they had an argument. Who knows? That happens. Um, hmm. Lee Sin probably needs to get more farm. Combo. Wow, that poor guy. He used gold card on the wrong thing. I think that just killed him too. Rip. What the ref doesn't see is There's sign going mid again. Might as well be me. Got that pressure. 
Ooh, am I going to get ganked is the question. I have not been ganked once this game. Oh. That was close. I don't think I'm going to get ganked, but you never know. Who is it? There's a pony. God damn, Fioris. It's so... Oh, I didn't think that was going to hit. She went straight into it. Oh, the dot. If I, if I knew that she was going to walk into it, I would have ulted straight away. I don't think it would have... It might have killed her. I don't know. But, oh. Missed opportunities. Oh my god, that Scion's health. Fun though. It's another one of those games that our top lane is just an island. It's just me versus Fiora, basically. Mm, good kit. Okay, I've got Black Cleaver now, which is awesome. And I think I'll buy the yeah, Merc Treads versus their comp. Okay, I can make my way. Good bind. That, that is the counter to Hecarim. That is a running champion. So when I talk about running champions, that includes Darius, that includes Volibear, that includes like a few of them. Udyr, that's the weakness of those champions. They have to run at you in order to do stuff. And if it's like a Lux or a Morgana that just bind you on the way to the person, there is nothing you can do. Oh my god, let me in that team fight. I'm staying around in mid lane, even though I'm like, ooh, I kind of want stuff to happen. Yeah, saw the free kill. I don't know why he went close to me. Take it. Mm. Would have been good if I actually got the kill for my ultimate, because then I would have got the reset, but whatever. Okay, I did my job, got more pressure, made sure they didn't die to the Fiora, so I'm going to go back and buy again. My team can go and do the Infernal in 20 seconds, so that's really nice. Uh, again, the GG World Play Report Hacker... Why? Like, again, if ever you want someone on the enemy team to report others, generally it's a useless thing to ask for because we don't know what people did uh, unless it's just blatant obviously intending feeding and obviously you never need to ask people to report for intended intentionally feeding in my opinion people will just report them um i'm on my way okay no i'm not i thought we may have if twitch survived a little bit more we could have oh wait that's gonna be infernal Ugh. this is what i mean people just throw these games a little bit too much Yeah, I can kill them, though. Come with me. Alistair's got him. Good boy, cowboy. Ah, get it? He's a cow and he's a boy. Cowboy. That was terrible. Again, I'm going to be losing advantage in top lane, but... Uh, oh well. Um, I don't want to go Titanic, do I? I want to do this. Okay. Alright, I think I'll stay top lane for a bit and try to just kill her in the 1v1. I don't think she's going to get my tower, not yet. No, if she doesn't get it, it's really good for me. Because I've done all this roaming, got more kills. And sure, she's four... In the in the whole grand scheme of things, she's five or six CS above me. But I've roamed around the map. Fiora hasn't roamed at all, apart from that one play in mid and she just got killed for it. So this Fiora has had quite a rough game. In terms of... I, I know it sounds a bit cocky, but I've just out-decision-maked her. I know that's not the right grammar. But yeah, I've just made better decisions. I've roamed when it's better. Even though my teleport's two of them, I didn't get anything for it. It's helped my team a lot of the time. Uh, to have a lead and get them kills and then the ones I have roamed I've managed to do fine with those uh, and actually get some kills around the map and then what I killed a once in a 1v1 too so it's this game's gone quite well for me um Keep your head on a swivel. okay so if Lee's coming top lane That was nice. They got wrecked. Same chat. Well played. That was a really good cue by Lux to what to get both of them. That's what I like to see. 
Um, wow, she... Oh, God. I know I don't play Fiora, so I'm not like an expert on the champion by any means. But going... Oh. Oh, that just stopped. Uh, but going Ravenous Hydra... I don't know. Damn it. Um, yeah. <laughs> that Twisted Fate. What? What was that? <laughs> I have no idea what that was. He's tanky. Um, right, let's buy this. What's Twitch doing? He's spotted. Oh, Fiora Splash. Yeah, damn. He was really close to surviving that. Meanwhile, at top lane, they're probably just going to win this fight, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, he even flashed then. Um, I guess I'll go bot lane because then they can go because these they can try do Baron maybe. The only thing this Lee and I will say this Lee is actually really under farmed and actually quite weak. He's two to eleven, so he's got a lot of like pressure and kills and stuff in that aspect and assist. But he's got fifty farm. He's half the farm of a Hecarim. He's only got a warrior and Mobis unless he has a lot of gold on him. He's not that strong right now. I have no idea where Fiora just went. She's still here. Hmm. Legendary. legendary cow, everybody. Remember, I went legendary once when I was playing Alistair. Feels really good when you're legendary on him because you literally can't die. Like, I bet, and I would put money on, this Alistair does not die the rest of the game. It's nearly impossible for him to die. He's way too tanky. <laughs> KS. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see. Okay, yeah. Missed time my ultimate because I didn't get the kill. But, eh, it's fine. Lee, you probably want to make your way to me? Or is he not caring? Because if a Hecarim just comes now, he'll be dead. That's why I made my way over to Lee. I don't want him to die. Meanwhile, top lane. Okay. So this should be a win. So it's nice. And it was a good win. I played alright. I haven't been playing too much Darius this season. Oh, I don't think I could eat him anyway. I think he would... They're asking just everybody to be reported. Come here, cow. You're tankier than me. I'm, like, not tanky, like, at all. Kaboom. See that free kill? I'm gonna take free kill. Um... Are we giving up? Okay. Well, there's not three AFK when we can see a few, like, on the board, my friend. It's not how it works. Oh, God. I thought I was a... Oof. Wait. This guy's borderline inting. Maybe the Scion is, like, reportable. Because, yeah, he's just running into us. Poison? Way. Attack it. Don't know why Alistair didn't do it. Alright, so that's been a good win. Uh, people have been asking for Darius uh, for a few episodes now, so there you go. Uh, he will show up more. Uh, I think he's one of the strongest champions if you want to carry yourself up. Because let's be honest, we didn't even play Greedy th this game. Excuse my hiccups. We didn't play Greedy and I still ended up going 7-1-3. Uh, he's just really good. Kill it before they can kill the Lux. Hey, there we go. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with how that game went. Relatively free win. It was just one of those games that everybody did what they're supposed to. And it was just kind of one of those like, oh, you, end you start a neutral and it went positive the whole way through the game. 
they're just nice. They're refreshing. They don't they don't happen often. Um, and when they do happen, it's al it's always nice to see. So there we go. Uh, so we actually got a congratulations. We got a chest. So that means we sh we got an S grade, I believe. Yeah, we got an S minus. Uh, so we went seven one three. We gained twenty two LP. So we're now on sixty five. So that means we're two wins away now um, from getting back in promo. Uh, One hundred eighty eight CS, which is the most in the game. Oh my god, I got the most CS in the game, everybody. It's a miracle. And if we go into the damage done, damage wise, yeah, I wasn't expecting to be high with uh, Lux doing the most, then the Twitch. And uh, if you compare me to my lane opponent, which is the best comparison you can do, I did 12, she did 8.5. So there you go. Uh, if you did enjoy the game, throw a like on it. Um, I am kind of contemplating, do I report the Scion or not? I'll probably think about it a little bit more while I end the recording. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy it, throw a like on it, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time. See you.